Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here with Baxter Cycle in the mighty Minicropolis of Marnie, Iowa. And look what I got behind me today, I'm so excited. This is the Royal Enfield Super Meteor 650 Celestial. Isn't that something? Check that out, it's got the red two-tone paint, the fancy seat, the windshield, all that neat stuff. Hey, let's go take that hot rod for a ride. Wahoo! Five, four, three, two, one. Brand new Royal Enfield Meteor Celestial Red. It's got the two-tone paint. What a beautiful thing it is. What a beautiful thing it is. Let's see if we can do a little spin here. A little longer wheelbase. It's a little bit more of a challenge. Look at that, look at that. No problem, 59 inch wheelbase. That's 1500 millimeters. You know what, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> Let's get this hot rod turned around. Just look at that. Excellent turning. Excellent turning. Awesome clutch feel. The clutch is a... Uh, they've done a great job with these. Okay, up the hill we go. If you're in the market for a new reused Royal Enfield, Triumph, classic British bike of any type, need parts, accessories, doodads, Sigma jigs, motorcycle gear, boots, gloves, get yourself over here to Baxter Cycle in the mighty Minitropolis of Marnie, Iowa. Or go to BaxterCycle.com. Those guys can help you out. Tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Wahoo! All righty, let's do the spin test. The wheelbase is 59 inches. I think I just stated that. That's 1,500 millimeters. Look at that. Huh. Wheel in the front wheel in the gravel. <laughs> oh yeah, life's a challenge. This is a lot rakier than an interceptor. Takes a little more room to go. Oh yeah, very good, very good. Very good pickup. We're going to take it easy. It's a brand new bike. What a beautiful looking machine. I am so impressed. One of the first things that struck me about this bike was it looks a lot better in real life than it does in the pictures. The pictures just do not do it justice. Get yourself down here to Baxter Cycle and check one out. It's a really good looking machine. Let's get across the hill here before that big old truck gets us. <clears throat> lots of torque, lots of torque. Pretty darn good for a 531 pound machine. 241 kilograms. Excellent. Ground clearance on this, by the way, is 5.3 inches. I think that's 135 millimeters. Seat height is 29.1 inches. Look at how this just spins around. That's 739 millimeters. Front disc brake is a 320 millimeter on a two piston Bybury caliper. And the rear is a 300 millimeter disc with a two piston Bybury caliper. That's a two piston Bybury in the back. That's really amazing. That's the first Royal Enfield I've seen with that. Chain drive, of course, six speed transmission. The engine is a 648 cc parallel twin, air and oil cooled, overhead cam, single overhead cam, four valves per cylinder. It's got the 270 degree crankshaft. So you get that uh, wop wop sound that everybody wants nowadays. Puts out about 47 horsepower and about 38 foot-pounds of torque for about 52 newton meters. Loads of everything you need. I like it. Quite a smooth motor. The engine and the transmission on these things are, uh, on the interceptors and on the Continental GTs, are very well paired. And I would say that so far I'd have to agree with that on this motorcycle as well. They've seemed to have uh, done that right. The shifter's in a different location now. It's got the forward controls on this bike, so it's, uh, shifting's a little interesting, and I've got these big heavy boots on, but uh, I think we can make it. Uh, front forks are inverted on this bike, so the uh, tubes are on the bottom, and I think this has 4.7 inches of travel on the front. That's about 119 millimeters. Let's look for some gravel here. On the rear, there's a double shock system with about four inches of travel, or about 102 millimeters. I like the way it rides. This bike has got a different seat on it, and uh, it's a different feel than the... Uh, I put about 70 or 80 miles on the uh, black one yesterday, and that had the stock seat. This one's got the touring seat on it, and we'll take a look at that when we get down here to the park. There's a motorcycle park right there, you know, let's go... Let's just go right on down there right now. It's a real big treat today. This just came in the door. This is a Royal Enfield Supermeter 650 in Celestial Red. And uh, I'm going to tell you right now, all the pictures I've seen of it don't do it justice. Uh, the color red is... Uh, it's just, it's just gorgeous. Absolutely amazing looking. Look at the tank. It's got the two-tone paint. There is an offset color pinstripe here, but it's, it's a white on white kind of a thing. It's got these wonderful 
you know, flying wing badges and with a little bit of gold in here. The black one I was on yesterday, this is silver in here. This is actually gold on the Celestial model and on the Interstellar model too. I think I went over all the specs already. Uh, the gas tank is 4.1 gallons, by the way. That's about 15 and a half liters. But uh, what a beautiful, beautiful machine. I mean, just look that thing over. Beautiful, just beautiful. Uh, let's go over what's different about this one from the other bikes we've looked at, the other super beaters we've looked at. This one comes with the paint. You can have celestial red like this or celestial blue, which is also a two-tone paint, but it's a different scheme. And uh, we'll, as soon as one of those comes in, we'll get a video of that shot. But uh, the other thing it comes with is it comes with this windshield factory. And it also comes with this, these are my uh, Tour Master gloves. I'm very proud of those. I just got those the other day because my hands were cold. It comes with this uh, Royal Enfield touring seat, which is, we'll take a look at that here in a second. And it also comes with this uh, backrest. Really nifty stuff. I mean, uh, I'd like to have that. Check out that badge in the back there. Kind of matches this badge here. Uh, so interesting things about this. We've got uh, different types of material here. White on white stitching, contrasting stitching. Look at this through here. This is a different kind of material than it is here. Little spots here that are different as well. Same as this. It's also padded differently. Seems like it's a little more upright here. It also has this little hump through here. And uh, I'd love to ride some miles on that and be able to tell you a little more about it. I do like the way it looks and I do think it has more padding. I was on the bike yesterday, especially right through here, right on the edge. I was on the bike yesterday and that was one of the things I noticed was the seat, the standard seat seems a little thin. I know Baxter's has these in stock. I might have to upgrade. I mean, you guys can upgrade. <laughs> anyway, what a, what a beautiful machine. So the windshield, the paint, the windshield, and the uh, seat and backrest stock on this bike. I think the price for this was uh, $74.99 plus $500. That's the out the door price at Baxter's. Crazy, isn't it? Uh, what else can I show you about it? It's got these wonderful mag wheels. It's a 10 spoke system, but it's got five heavy spokes and five light spokes. You really, you know, it's it looks like a five spoke system with, I, I like it, I just like it. I like the way it looks. Of course, the inverted fork. But look at all the little details here. I and mean, it's just gorgeous. Just so well done. And everything's metal. I know I pointed that out before, but uh, even even this uh, guard that comes on the oil cooler is made out of metal. Ew, and that is a hot pipe. Just a nifty thing, you know, metal, metal. Everything's just metal. This is cast, you know, beautiful. I love the way the frame looks. Look at that in the sun. All those speckled colors in there, just beautiful. You know, look at the paint too. You guys probably can't see that on camera, but there's like little flakes in there. Very well done, very well done. Another neat thing that they put in here was this plate kind of a dresser plate. I don't know if they needed it on the other side as well. Ah, no, they've got this black thing here, the chain cover. You know, this bike comes with uh, forward controls, the black dot engine covers, the black dot head, They're, you know, compared to the Interceptor, for instance. Of course, the aesthetic difference has a totally different frame than the Interceptor. Uh, something it does come with that the other bikes, at least the Interceptor comes with, is a center stand. And I'm always amazed, you know, Royal Enfield's really good about that. This is a chain drive bike, so that's something nice to have. Uh, I'm just gonna throw it out there. These incredibly large back brake. Now I put 70 or 80 miles on a bike like this yesterday and the back brake had a very unique and good feel, I would say. I liked it. But you know, it's got a two piston by recaliper. I mean, there's two pistons there. The back tire is a 150, 80, 16. Check out the size on that hot rod. Uh, back just put some AEW canisters on one of their bikes and the sound was just amazing. They kind of look just about like that, but they've got bigger things here and they also took the baffles out on theirs. I'll put the sound of that right here. Nice. Very good sounding motorcycle, isn't it? Baxter's has got the AEW ones, the SNS ones, and some other brands as well. So just go to their website, baxtercycle.com. I am uh, envious of the color. In the pictures, I thought the blue might look better than the red. I am a red guy and I will tell you right now that I am just this is uh, about as good as it gets. Very good looking. They're all, they're all good looking. It's just when you're a red guy, this is extra good looking, you know? What a gorgeous machine. And the windshield, uh, the bike I had yesterday, that I rode yesterday, had this windshield on it. My helmet was in the clear. You know, it kept the wind off my chest, but my helmet was in the open air. So I didn't have any helmet buffeting whatsoever. I mean, it worked very well. I was very happy with that. I am impressed with that. And I'm also very impressed with the seat. I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> Something I've pointed out in every one of these that I've gotten myself close to, the 350 Meteor and the 350 Classic and the 350 Hunter all have a similar lever to this. And what they've done on this Meteor is they've made it slightly larger, same design. It's got the same sweep. It's got the flat area here. It's got the radius edges. 
So it feels very good in the hand, and I like that a lot. And they go very well with these Amol style, or is it Amol, grips that say Royal Enfield on them. The one thing about these is these are adjustable. You hold them out, you turn this knob in or out, and it'll adjust the distance from here to here. And that is also uh, something that happens on the brake lever. So both the brake lever and the clutch lever have those. Very nice, huh? Uh, just real quick, let's jump up here. The uh, Oculus right here, analog speedometer on the outside. On the inside, there is an analog or a digital fuel gauge. There is an always visible gear indicator, always visible clock. And then down here is the uh, odometer. And then using this button over here, you can do trip meter A, trip meter B. I think it's A and B. Yes, it is. And then down here, they've got a battery light and an oil light, which is something I think all, you know, all bikes should have. Of course, the other lights, like a neutral light, and those are also there too. And then over here, they've got this nav system, and I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna go on a couple hundred mile ride this afternoon on a different motorcycle, and I'm actually gonna try to use that, see how well it works. Very nice, huh, very nice. Good looking stuff. Uh, as far as that, let's go look at switch gear here. So here's the information button, use to control that uh, trip meter thing. Over here, it's the uh, flash to pass, low beam, high beam, blinkers right here, by the way, the smoothest blinkers on a Royal Enfield I've seen yet. So that's that's a good deal. Horn, over here it's a kill switch, run switch, and then it's a rocker switch to start. You push that to start it. And over here the hazard lights, gas of course. Kind of nifty, huh? Very, very nice. You know what, I want to show this by the way. Um, I've talked about this. I may have showed this in one other video, but look at this. So you got the Monza style cab, but look at that. You know, it, it's, you don't have to worry about putting the cab down or finding a spot for it. It's right there. Do that to push it down, get that out, flip that down. One deva, one deva. And the mirrors, I used this, a bike like this yesterday and uh, the mirrors work great. And I like this kind of mirror. Now we had a blue bike that they put N bar end mirrors on and I thought that looked great. Uh, it's not my kind of thing. I like my mirrors up higher, but they did look beautiful. On that bike, they also had a lower windscreen and it made this really neat line that went across. And you know, I'm just noticing that line is here too on this bike. I like that. I like the aesthetic of that. Anyway, just a gorgeous machine. Gorgeous machine. They just got this one in today. I love it. And they've got more coming. Uh, I think later today or tomorrow morning, something like that. I think it was later today. But what a beautiful machine. What a beautiful machine. If y'all are interested in something like this, new used, Royal Enfield, Super Meteor, uh, Triumph, classic British bike of any type, need parts, accessories, doodads, two hickeys, whatever, boots, clothes, gear, get yourself over to Baxter Cycle here in the wonderful, mighty, Minitropolis of Marnie, Iowa, or get yourself over to BaxterCycle.com. Those guys can help you out. Tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now it is a beautiful afternoon. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon, and I've got a couple hundred miles of motorcycle riding to go do. So I'm gonna go do that. If y'all can do that, do the same. Life is good. Wahoo.